Welcome to this three-part series on the All-in-One Miner. In this first video, we'll go over signing up for an online account so that you can access the command center and control all of your mining rigs from one single location. We'll follow that up with installation of the latest version of the All-in-One Miner, 8.4.0. We'll also go over all the benefits and features of this community-driven project, the All-in-One Miner, coming up right now. All right, everybody, welcome back. So before we go into the signing up on the website and the installation of the software, I want to go over some key features. Uh, and I think these are going to be really important and really helpful to you, especially if you're brand new to the All-in-One Miner. So if this is the first video that you've ever watched that I do, uh, whenever I do an instructional type video, I always put all the pertinent information and links in the description below the video. So if I go a little bit too fast in one section or another, don't worry. You don't have to write anything down. You can simply look in the description below and click the link uh, and read up for yourself. So if you're brand new to the All-in-One Miner, there's a couple key points that I want to discuss with you. The first one and I think this is one of the strong points, is the community-driven factor. Um, started out on Reddit, uh, have a great, great Discord channel uh, where you can get 100% free support, uh, ask questions from the developers, uh, ask questions of other people that are using the software, uh, and they have alpha testers that have tested this stuff and uh, worked out any bugs and the development team uh, from the communications that I have had with them are tremendous. Another big point for me is the fact that these guys are offering 0% fees. That's right, 0%. And I want to talk about that here in a couple minutes when we actually sign up for the account um, as far as donating to the cause, so to speak. But we'll talk about that in just a moment. But they have maintained the entire time a 0% uh, fee structure uh, from the beginning to this day. And I think that's pretty incredible when just about every other uh, type of mining program out there, uh, there's some kind of a fee. 1%, half a percent, 2 3%. So I think that's incredible. Another neat feature, and we won't talk about it in this video, I'm just going to hit, like I said, I'm just hitting the high points, but timed mining. So you can actually start and stop mining, uh, start and stop your mining rig uh, when you want at specified times of the day, uh, and you can change the mining algorithm, which is a super cool feature. And the last one, and it's going to be in video uh, number three, is the free monitoring uh, and remote control of the mining rig. Now there's a couple other programs out there on the market that offer this, but I'm going to tell you, uh, if you stick with me through these three videos, I'm going to show you this is one of the slickest and uh, prettiest uh, GUI interfaces I've seen uh, from just about anybody out there on the market. So. Stick with me. I'll show that to you in the third video, but let's go ahead and get into uh, signing up for the account. All right, so at the top of the page here, you see the download link. We'll get to that in just a moment, but you also see register for free. Go ahead and click that guy. And I'm going to tell you, it is important to go ahead and register because you want to be able to use that GUI interface. And unless you have an account, uh, you're not going to be able to do that. So it's very important that we sign up on the website for an account. Okay, so pretty simple standard fare here. Email address, name, your password, 
and then Google authentication. I'll get to that in just a moment. Let me go ahead and pause the video, put my information in, and then we'll come right back. All right, so a couple quick things before I move on. Make sure that you use a valid email address because you're going to need to confirm the account, okay? And two, put your name in. Three, and, and I cannot stress this enough, use a strong password. Find a random password generator website and cycle through a couple times and do not put an easy password in here that somebody can get into your account and get to your mining rigs. Uh, we also have two-factor, which I'll talk about in just a moment, but guys, you can see here, uh, if you can break that, uh, then by all means, you probably um, uh, are smarter uh, than the best computer out there. So uh, the, f the harder this password is, um, the better, okay? Let me just state it like that. Now, the other thing, you want to click, I understand this password cannot be recovered. Now, let's get to the two-factor portion, okay? Now, this is important, uh, and what I recommend is Google Authenticator. You can also use a program called Duo, D-U-O, uh, and there may be some others, but those are the two that I'm familiar with, okay? And these are applications that can go on your uh, cell phone, uh, whether you have an iOS device or uh, an Android device. Um, they all work in a similar fashion. So what I want you to do right now is pause this video and go ahead and download the Google Authenticator or the Duo application uh, and then come back to the video after you've downloaded and installed uh, that package. All right, so hopefully you stop the video or pause the video and went and downloaded that application, or maybe you've already got it on your phone, okay? But what I want you to do is open up the application and click where it says Add. Uh, on Duo, it's just a plus, and I think Google Authenticator, it's a plus too. It may just say Add, but you'll see what I'm talking about, okay? So go ahead and open that up. We're going to go ahead and click on I Understand My 2FA, or Two-Factor Authentication, cannot be removed. And I promise, I wrote this down, really super promise, all right? So we're going to get to th this in just a second, okay? But what I want you to do now is click on Add, and then the scanner should pop up. As long as you have a scanner installed on your, your device, uh, what I want you to do is simply put the phone up to the screen and scan the barcode that you see on your screen okay so very important and then I want you to add that account to uh, your two-factor authentication uh, Google, Google Authenticator or Duo program alright so after you've done that you're gonna see that it pops up uh, a six-digit code. Now that code is going to, it's a completely random code. Um, well, it's random on uh, as far as the generation, but um, it knows whether you've put the right code in or not because of uh, what's called a seed file. And I'm not going to get into all that, but needless to say, all you need to know for this is you have a six-digit PIN code. Okay, so before we move any further, I want you to copy and paste this or write this down. Might be easier to copy and paste in a extremely safe location. All right, so now that you've copied that down to a safe location, make sure all your boxes are check marked here. What you need to do is that six digit code that you see you need to type that in here now a little caveat if the timer you see to the right of the code is counting down and it's close to zero or close to starting over then you may want to wait till the next cycle okay so if it's under five or ten seconds I would I would wait until the next cycle 
um, just so there's no issues, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and type in the code that I have after my next cycle. I've got seven seconds. All right, so I'm gonna type that in. And then I'm gonna press sign up. All right, so it may take a couple cycles to get it right. Remember to re-enter your password. If it clicks, you click on it at the bottom and it comes back to the top, re-enter your password. Hopefully you've copy and pasted it from somewhere. Uh, and then you want to re-enter the next cycle code. Sometimes uh, it, it may take a couple times to get it, just be patient, but when it does accept it, it will take you to this next screen and it says log in or register for free back at the top, okay? But the thing you got to notice is that you should have received an email. All right, so let's click on it and take a look at it. All right. Welcome to AIO Miner. Before we can enable your alerts messages, you need to confirm your email address. Please click on the link below for the magic internet uh, confirmation. All right, so after you've confirmed it, you're gonna need to log in again. So click log in and I'm gonna sign in. And then I'm going to put my password in. Guys, keep these passwords in a really safe spot. And then we're going to have to go back to our Google Authenticator. And I know this, if you're not used to this, this may seem like kind of a pain in the tail. But trust me, it's better than getting your account hacked. So waiting for my next cycle. All right, and I'm going to enter my code. All right, so after you've successfully logged in, you can see here at the top it says log out. That's the way you know that you've logged in. Now we're going to go into uh, the account and all the other stuff in the, ne in the coming videos. Uh, but right now what we want to do is download the latest version of software and the first thing that you need to know most of your mining software is going to show up according to Windows as a harmful file and that's just about every mining program out there because of the way these programs work uh, I've tested this software there's nothing wrong with it so what you want to do is press keep that's if you're using Google Chrome. If you're using something else and it flags it, just continue, accept it anyway. All right. So now what I want to do is click on the installer. And I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. And you can see uh, the Apache license here. Go all the way down to the bottom. Uh, if you want to read that, be my be my guest click I agree and next and we're gonna go it's gonna be okay right here uh, you can change the directory if you want I'm gonna leave it in the default location I'm gonna hit next and it's installing now so as soon as it gets done I'll come back all right, the installation has just completed. So what I want to do is install is complete. Would you like to run uh, all in one miner or all in one now? Say yes. And it's going to run for the first time. Give it just a minute. So you can see here, the latest version 8.4.0. And I'm going to go through the I got this. If you go through the I'm new to mining, uh, it's going to put you in a different direction. You're more than welcome to do that. Uh, but I find, personally, that the I got this method is a little bit more in-depth, and I can teach you a little bit more with it, okay? 
Now, says warning, you will need to go back and review your preferred miners after doing this. Uh, this will check for new miner applications and processes. Do you want to do this? Click yes. All right, so what it's doing is downloading the latest uh, miners, uh, the latest programs, the latest files. Okay, so give this just a minute, let it update itself, and I'll come right back when it gets done. All right, it just completed, uh, and it puts up a message here AIO Miner has a new website. You can now monitor your rigs online for free. We've already done that in the first step of this video, so for now, we're going to click no thank you okay and that's it for installation uh, for getting into the website and signing up for the account and confirming your account and setting up Google Authenticator we've went through all of that so in the coming video I will go through benchmark setting up the miner and all the important stuff that you need to know how to do like setting up your wallet and your pool address and port numbers and all that great stuff we'll get to in the next video. I'll go over all the features and all the great stuff that this miner has to offer in the next video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so. Like the video and leave me a comment below let me know what you think. Thanks again everybody see you next video.